Thank you. To Commitment 2016 News Now and Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton spent today campaigning in New Hampshire. And while she's trailing rival Bernie Sanders among Granite State voters, she still drew enthusiastic crowds tonight. With less than three weeks until the first in the nation primary, Hillary Clinton spent part of the evening in Concord at the 43rd anniversary of the Supreme Court's 1973 Roe v. Wade decision legalizing abortion. Women's rights and reproductive rights are as high a priority as any other. Clinton has been endorsed by NARAL Pro-Choice America. And Friday night she pointed out that the stakes could not be higher in an election where Republican candidates are vowing to defund Planned Parenthood. All women deserve to have their rights respected. All women deserve to have access to the health services and choices they are entitled to. It should not be that some who are fortunate economically can access their rights while all others are left behind. Clinton next held a town hall in Manchester, where she received a rousing introduction by Senator Jean Shaheen. Clinton spoke to the crowd about issues she said she knew would be paramount in this campaign, like the economy. I know that we need to get our economy producing good jobs with rising incomes to rebuild the middle class. But she also said she discovered unexpected issues, like the depth of the heroin and opioid crisis in New Hampshire. I was not prepared to hear from so many about what was happening in the families of New Hampshire. Addiction, the heroin epidemic, which is at one of the highest rates in this state of any in the country. And Clinton also talked about what she called inflammatory and dangerous comments by some Republicans regarding the Muslim community, saying the goal is to unite all Americans in the fight against terrorism. Hillary Clinton is also a guest this Sunday on Close Up with our Josh McKelvin.